creativity. I, many people that come to work with me uh, know nothing about the brain. They come to me to learn about the brain. They bring their own ideas and their own techniques. So they may come with a background in immunology, or they may come with a background in molecular biology, or in yeast genetics, or in mouse genetics. And we combine the postdoctoral fellow's skills and mine in order to tackle a problem that we both enjoy. And it's essential to select a problem that is gratifying, not only for you, but for the person that you're working with, because otherwise they don't feel this is their problem and they're motivated to do it. Mm. And what about for younger students, or do you tend to concentrate on, on postdocs? I, I only take one graduate student at a time. And even with graduate students, I try to sense out. I've been very gifted, I've been very fortunate in the quality of graduate students I've had. Many of them have had wonderful ideas. When we talk together, I would suggest something. I tell them first to just walk around the lab and to speak to people and see what projects uh, really interest them. The one point I would make is I encourage students to tackle important problems because I think once you've sensed what it's like to really solve something wonderful, uh, you become addicted. The satisfaction of doing something which is novel uh, and which is important is very, very satisfying. So how as a young person do you spot an important problem? Because it, it presumably... You discuss it with them and you help them. That's how I can be useful. I can tell them, this is not interesting, this is. Yeah. It's a question of taste. You help them develop taste.